All right, let's learn a little bit more about, um, about the Firebase data format, um, and we'll see how to push data then to, to Firebase as a result. Okay. Um, so the first thing is, is that everything in Firebase, <coughs> excuse me, so the first thing is that everything in Firebase is, is JSON, right? So JavaScript object no, uh, notation. Uh, and that's a format that sends objects back and forth, right? So each one of these guys right here is an object. And technically what it's, what it's actually doing is it's using a map, right? So, so it's taking field names to values, right? And, and so on in there. Uh, in Firebase, as you saw, everything was stored in a tree. So here we have our, our, our JSON tree. You can access it, um, you know, sort of as, as deep as you, as you want to. Um, it's actually, uh, our code in Android is on Java. So we have Java objects and we have, we have this JSON tree and we want to convert back and forth. And that's just a bunch of low level uh, stuff that as an app developer, we don't want to have to worry about. Um, so we're going to use a library and Firebase um, uses the JSON uh, library. Um, so Google um, uh, version of JSON uh, to do serialization here. And that's going to that's gonna help us with, with that con conversion. Uh, they used to use one called Jackson, but they use JSON now. Um, and it will do that for you almost automatically um, if your model object is basically compliant with that, right? So, so that's what we really need to do is, is modify our model object so that, so that that works, okay? Um, so the first thing is, right, is that um, the model objects need keys, check. So we did that. Um, but the thing is we don't wanna actually, we don't wanna be sending the key up as part of the object because then it would be, it'd be duplicated. Essentially you'd have, you know, you'd have movie quote key um, and the key would have this value right here. And, you know, it already, Firebase already keeps the keys sort of separate from the object, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to tell our model object to exclude, and this is how it's done in JSON, um, uh, the, the key when it's sort of serializing the data when it's turning from an object into a JSON object. Um, so, um, so we do that, and it turns out that, that we put the exclude on um, on the getter itself. And you know, in, under different situations, if you look in, the, in their documentation, they do it a little bit differently. I um, mean, that's just because we're using getters and setters. Right. So um, I'm going in here, I said I was gonna have to make some changes. So one of them is to put in this annotation, um, exclude, and you see that that's sort of built in here. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna exclude uh, the getter. Right. Uh, the other thing, that I'm gonna to have to do is to um, have a default constructor. Um, it was the case with Jackson. I believe it's the same thing in JSON as well. Um, so I will go ahead and put it in anyway, just because I've been burned by that in the past and I almost don't dare not do it these days. Um, Alt insert uh, constructor, uh, select none, and just, I mean, just get a, a default constructor right here. Um, needed for serialization. Uh, it burned Dr. B in the past when he forgot this. All right, yes, that is very, very true. Um, so um, JSON also lets you rename fields. Um, you probably notice that, that I use sort of, you know, I use the same names for my fields here as we did in the, um, in the database, right? So within here, they were just called movie and quote. Um, and in here, they're also called movie and quote. If I needed to, to change them, like let's say I wanted to call this, you know, M movie, um, which I don't typically do on my model objects, but if you want to do that, um, you you can, right? Um, it just you just annotate it like so, all right? Uh, all right, very good. So with that out of the way, uh, pushing is actually almost it's almost uh, anticlimactic. It is so easy to do, right? So uh, if you take your reference, there is a a push command. And what push does is it generates you um, a, what's called a push ID, right? So it's, it's something that can be used as a key. Um, in what it does is, and they, they have, I don't have the link to the documentation right now, um, but they, they talk about how it encodes a timestamp in it and it has some random bits so that two people that are creating things at, at about the same time um, or even exactly the same time are not gonna have identical keys, right? So they are, they are um, basically uh, unique with probability uh, 0.9999999, I mean, basically probability one, right? Um, anyway, 
So we're going to use that, and that gives us a key, and then we can call set value on it directly. All right. Um, very, very cool uh, and super, super simple to do. So what I'm going to do is go back into, see, I'm done with, with my model object and done with some other files here, um, uh, my Gradle and everything. So I'm going to go into my adapter and I'm going to find where I do the add. And instead of doing this, okay, so actually blow those guys away, um, we are going to take uh, our movie quotes ref. I'm going to call dot push. That gives us the location where we want to set the value. And the value that I'm going to set, and this is like the magic part, is that we're just going to pass in our Java object. And one of the um, one of the, the versions of set value, you probably saw this, but I'll do it again just just in case you didn't. Um, just takes uh, an object here. Um, just very 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 brilliant, right? Um, and it, it just, oops. So, oops, come back here. Uh, movie quote. Um, like so. And I can run that and I can instantly check to see that it's, it's going to be pushing things onto my, onto my back end. All right. So, uh, let's, let's go ahead and do this. So here, um, Add this guy, and I want to bring in. I want to bring up my back end, uh, and I want to make it skinnier, so I can see the two of them together. And we'll see that if I add, so a new one, and a new title, and let's see if I did my setup correctly. Click OK, um, and we see here that it pushed it right. Um, and again, this is the auto-generated push ID that, that it made, right? So it works out uh, very, very well okay, to, um, to do that. Uh, make another one. Um, quote will delete shortly. All right, boom, and there it is. And again, they're showing up in the, in the bottom here um, because they have the timestamp encoded into them. Um, so it's sorting them sort of in the right way. You see these are newer ones that I made. These original ones were older. You can even see that they're, that they're clearly the strings are, are earlier sort of alphabetically. All right. all right, that's all we get for this lesson. Uh, next time, let's go ahead and fill this out. We're gonna need a listener to do it. We'll see you then. Mm -hmm.